The really important part is that children with food allergies and asthma have a higher risk of a severe allergic reaction to the food allergy. So a child without asthma accidentally eats peanut, they have less severe reaction than a child with asthma because the, uh, the ingestion of the food allergen often triggers the asthma as well. So you get usual conditions plus clamping down of the airways that goes with the asthma. Peanut allergy is the most common cause of fatal food anaphylaxis in the country. So parents are appropriately concerned about, um, about peanut allergy. Testing is best when you have a, a, a history that um, is suggestive of a food allergy. Screening testing broadly across the population is, is generally causes more problems than um, it helps. So for example, if a child um, is screened, a child with say eczema that has a lot of this allergy antibody, they may have many false positives. And then it leads parents to be very confused about what their child can eat. It can lead to them having problems with um, nutritional problems because they're restricting, the, over-restricting the diet. And one of the ways we've recognized that actually helps prevent food allergies is to introduce the food early into the child's diet if, the, if it's an allergenic food that the family eats and the texture is appropriate to give to the child, then we recommend that you go ahead and, and introduce it. You can do that at any, you know, any time that your pediatrician says it's okay to give, start giving solid foods. Um, if, if it's something your family eats and it's time to give um, like a soft food, you can do something like um, peanut butter 